what is up everyone this is Gosu here from Serene Art and I am super super glad to be here once again with another mind-blowing video trust me this video is really going to blow your mind right so let me ask you just a very quick question how many of you have seen backgrounds like this and you've been wondering how they were able to come up with this kind of background okay you've seen backgrounds like this this liquefy backgrounds you'll be wondering how are they able to design this background right so today what i'm going to show you is how to design these backgrounds for yourself on your smartphone trust me this is going to blow your mind and it is going to change the whole game for you so you definitely want to stay tuned watch this video to the end and learn how to use this background and also kind of design them for yourself this particular black and white type over here i used it in one v one design of mine recently and it was super dope i think let me just show you that particular design right away all right so this is the design right here okay you can see that after applying this kind of texture this liquefied texture to the work it's made the work look super dope super amazing right so that is exactly the same thing i am going to show you in this tutorial how to design these backgrounds for yourself and i hope you are ready for that okay so there are two ways to actually design these backgrounds okay and i'm going to show you these two ways the first one involved the use of pixel lab and pix art and the second one involved the use of pix art only and i'm going to show you how to do this in these two formats right so i hope you're ready for that let's go straight to pixel lab application and take it up from there so here we are in pixel lab application and one thing you have to take notes of is that we just need any dimension at all we can use the default size or any dimension at all that we want to use to design whatever we want to design okay so before we proceed with the main design over here i want to make two requests right now okay i want you to do me a favor with these two things if you really want to support me on this channel so that i can keep coming up with creative content like this for you most often then just you know listen to these two requests and i hope you're gonna grant me right so the first one that i want to make is that please and please and please do not download my videos and watch them offline please and please do not download my videos and watch them offline okay that's my first request if you want to support me on this channel do not download my videos and watch them offline and my second request is do not skip the adverts on my youtube channel okay if you want to support me please and please do not skip the adverts on my channel just watch them play and continue with the videos okay all my videos on the channel please do not skip the adverts and please do not download them and watch offline okay thank you so much for supporting me this is just to help me to keep coming up with more creative contents like this one that i'm going to show you right now which is literally going to blow your mind and i hope you are ready for me as well okay so i think we can now jump into it right away now i'm going to delete everything over here so i'll tap on default and i'm going to clear off everything and we start from scratch like this so the first thing that you see me doing over here is to give my work a white background color i like using white and black most often than not okay so the whole idea about what we are going to do over here is to put colors together okay mixture of colors so what i'm going to do first is to import a shape and this shape i'm going to reduce the opacity and i'm going to give it a stroke of 40 then probably change the shape to make it a circular one i think that will help me better and i'll reduce the size place it at the middle i'll bring the grid tool <coughs> so once i bring the grid tool i'll activate this magnetic effect so that it can help me align it properly so i'll put it at the middle i think this this circular shape has been distorted a little bit so i think i'll just go back and do it well just like i did right good so i'll put it over here and i'll change the color okay i'll just come down to the stroke option change the color to any other color at all i want let's say i want a gradient effect gradient color i can just put a gradient over here like this 
and I'll tap on a check mark. The next thing for me to do is to make a duplicate of this and just put them together. So I'll tap on copy, go to edit, increase the size, put it here. Good. And I can change the color if I want to. So I'm going to use something like this. I'll tap on a check mark, make a copy again. So it's all about making a duplicate. Okay, so you can just watch me as I do this duplicate. Okay, so I just filled up the whole space with this kind of circular shapes all right so what i'm going to do next is to you know change the background color and uh, let's see how it's going to look let's look for something like this okay i think we just have to okay i like this kind of yellow background now what i'm going to do next is to add another shape and let's see how it is going to look like all right so i'm changing the color of this shape to something else I think I'll just have to come here and check if I can see something like this and I'll use it the whole idea of doing this is to make sure we we have some colors okay different colors over here I know we're gonna do black and white on as well Okay, so I'm going to put this over here, make a duplicate of it, reduce the size, and maybe rotate it like this. Okay, I'm going to rotate this one too, and reduce the size. Definitely going to make it like this. I think this is okay for now looking at what I want to do this is okay good so at this point we can just go ahead and you can just save this straight forward okay so I'm saving this as ultra now once we are done saving it the next step is to go to The next step for us to do is to go straight to PixArt. So I'm going to open my PixArt application right away. So once we open the PixArt application, we tap on a plus sign and we start with whatever we want to do. So we have the image over here, the design we saved. This is it over here. Okay. So we tap on it and it's going to load like this. Once it loads, what we have to do is to tap on tools. From tools, we tap on stretch. Now, this is where we do the magic. We use these two, one and two. These two are what we are going to use to create our background right now. So we select this first. You can tap on it again to play with the size increase the size or decrease the size and play with the power as well that means the strength of the effect so i'll just put it at 50 percent right now and what you have to do is to tap on the image and it will start coiling like this okay this is how it is done right You can use the other one too and just play around with everything and you are good to go it is pretty nice and awesome doing this it's pretty pretty much nice okay it's pretty much nice you can put your hand on it and just move it around as well and you're going to have some awesome awesome looking effects okay so all those liquefy background you've been seeing you can equally do them with your smartphone right just like i'm showing you over here 
it's very 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 simple right very very simple very very simple so once you are done with it you just tap on a check mark and you save it all right so to save it you just have to tap on this download icon showing up over here so it has been saved to your gallery successfully okay so that is how to actually design this kind of liquefied backgrounds okay now let me show you the other way to do this so i'm going to and save this now the other way to do this is to download an image from the internet you go to the internet and search for colorful background and you download it okay so i have some downloaded over here and i'm going to pick it right now so this is it i just picked it up and i'm going to do the same thing to it just look at how it is going to be okay so let's start with the ccw the swell ccw right so we just started i hope you can see how amazing it is looking already you can see how it is looking already and you can also do it this way it's already amazing is that not it So you can see what we just did over here and let's look at how it is good this is very very awesome okay so the second method is you going to Google download a colorful image then you bring it to your you know PixArt application and use this tool on it then you'll be able to get something like this and of course to save it you know how to do it already you just tap on that download icon and it's going to save okay so let's see what we can do next let's assume you want to do you want to do that of the black and white the one i use in my design you want to use it you want to do the same thing with it then you just have to download the same kind of image all right and bring it up here into your pixels then you apply the same effect as well this is how it's going to be this is how it is going to be so like you can see right now it is not anything difficult right it's not difficult you just have to take your time and play around with it when you are done you save it and you are good to go so i hope this video has been helpful to you and just before i go i have one tip to give you let me check here quickly and give you that before i go so pixart i mean photoshop touch the application that i use most often okay so let me show you something over here this is this is the raw design and when i applied the black and white texture that we just designed in pixart when i apply this how the design is going to look like when i turn it off this is how the raw design is applied and this is how it is okay and of course how to use the ps touch application is not difficult if if you like me to make videos on it yeah you can also let me know and i'll make more videos on it for you as well i hope this video helped you and please and please before you go one special request apart from the previous two that i make please just like this video for me okay like videos for me tap on that like button on this video and this is going to mean a whole lot to me right you know i put in a lot of effort to get this video out here for you so you liking this video will mean a whole lot to me right so go ahead and like this video for me and i hope to see you in the next one bless up Thank you.